Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. We are dry for tonight, but that will not be the same story for tomorrow evening. Long story short, we're going to see some wintry precipitation, but does it really affect the roads? Not so much. It's going to be very light, so I think that we're going to be a okay for traveling tomorrow evening. And the stuff that we talk about here is really just going to be for how much snow sticks to the grass and how much freezing rain is going to stick to your mailbox or some of the trees that are out there. So uh, this is going to be a pretty ideal outcome for us. Very light precipitation, but you never want to mess around too much with freezing rain. But again, as of right now, it does not look like it's going to be a major or even a moderate factor. So just some minor travel disruptions as people are just taking it easy on the road for tomorrow evening. Temperatures dipping below freezing and uh, we want to be cautious when some of that freezing rain is coming down for some of those communities that are near the shoreline, but probably just sticking with those snow showers for places in interior portions of Connecticut. 1 p.m. We're still dry. The morning commute not affected. The evening commute largely unaffected. Depends on exactly what time you're going coming home. Some snow showers possible, but probably just some rain showers right along the I-95 corridor. See some pinks sprinkled in there that is representing some sleet and some mixed precipitation, some snow, half snow, half rain, and also some of that freezing rain that will be near the I-95 corridor. So again, I think there's enough snow to give a coating for the inland counties, but along the shoreline, probably just looking at some sleet and some freezing rain to go with that. And the Tuesday morning temperatures are going to dip into the 20s again. So, you know, whatever roads are wet, it's safe to say that they could be icy as well. But as far as seeing widespread roads that are icy, that's just not going to happen because the precipitation that we're going to get is just so light. There's one model representation of those snow showers up there across northern Connecticut. Another model showing the potential icing 0 0.01. If there's just a, you know, that's just not enough to create icy roads for us. But it could be enough to just give a little bit of a glaze on some of those leafless trees. Looking at satellite radar, we have some snow showers up in the high country and we're dry right now in Connecticut. We will stay dry for the next uh, 18 hours or so until we get into those snow showers tomorrow evening. It's cold outside right now, and this will be what we end up with for our high temperatures tomorrow. It's going to be a cold day. In fact, tomorrow, uh, don't don't get caught off guard. It's, uh, it's going to be in the 20s, so no wind chill factor out there, but you definitely want that winter coat, couple of layers, scarf, hat, all that jazz, and then you'll be good to go. You'll be prepared for this chilly day coming up. We're dipping into the 20s. Overnight lows are going to drop like a rock with those clear skies and some dry air. That's we are breathing in right now. Shoreline dipping into the 20s as well. Not too long. We'll be looking at those freezing temperatures or low temperatures for tonight into the mid 20s, 27 degrees in New Haven and just a few clouds out there in New Haven. We still are holding on to that breeze 41 degrees, but it feels like it's in the tw in the 30s right now. And also want to touch real quick on some of these showers that we're going to get uh, this upcoming Thursday. It looks like we should get some scattered showers on Thursday and then we will dry out for New Year's Eve. Our high temperatures for tomorrow again are going to be cold, supporting those light snow showers. And that is the key word there. Very light snow showers and light wintry mix for tomorrow evening. 44 on Tuesday, some spot showers leading into some wintry mix probably for Wednesday morning as well. Scattered showers on Thursday An active forecast, but not a lot of snowflakes. So while we will see some rain. We got mainly those 40s and mainly good driving conditions for the week ahead. All right. Thank you, Connor. We have new video tonight.